What is this garbage you're watching? Here, I want to watch the news. news. Are you making are you making headway at least? This is the news. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of that Gang Stalking Show. My name is Doug, I'm a TI, and I've been a TI since 2004. Uh, today's episode, I want to talk about how to greatly reduce the hacking that you're getting on your laptop and your computer. Can't really say much about it on your iPhone or your Android, but I can tell you what I know about computer hacking because I've been hacked to pieces. Uh, this last campaign that I was hacked, my computer was always compromised, hard getting in, hard setting things up, hard doing things, until I did these two things. Actually, I did more than two things, but these two things are going to help you really mitigate the hacking problems that you're getting. Uh, let me pull this down here. So, what I suggest that you do, these two things, is... Number one, take out your Wi-Fi card. You're getting hacked by people using a Wi-Fi uh, antenna that's picking up on your Wi-Fi card. They're doing that, and they're hacking your Bluetooth device on your computer. You take these two things out, and that's going to reduce 95% of your hacking. Um, the only thing that sucks about it is the only way that you're going to be able to connect to the Internet is through your Ethernet cable. Now, with that said, taking these two things out is not really that big of a deal. It's not hard to do. It's really pretty easy to do. But you may go, well, I don't know how to do it. Well, just look up your model number on the internet and look for the diagram of where's my Bluetooth module or where's my Wi Fi card. If you can't find it, YouTube it and you'll find it there. There's always videos on, on how to to do stuff to your computer. Once you figure out how to take these two little things out, you're good to go. But I would say that once you do take them out, they're gonna to try to hack you online. So what they will do is they'll find out your Wi-Fi, not your Wi-Fi, they'll find, they already know your MAC address. I'm not gonna get into a, a, a big deal about it, but I'm gonna tell you, you need to change your MAC address. Look that up and find out how to do it. Once you do that, and take these other steps, it's going to greatly free up your computer from being hacked. But with that said, they're going to try to do a man in the middle of attack or deny you service. And what you need to do about that, break out your pen and paper, you need to learn how to flush your DNS cache. That's the name, name server, cache, C-A-C-H-E. Look that up on the internet for your particular operating system, whether it's Linux, Macintosh, or it's Windows. What I would suggest is that you totally get rid of Windows and throw it away. Not only is it a magnet for malware and hackers, it's just an, a really bad operating system to use. But everybody likes it because that's all they know how to use. And they're like, well, I don't know how to use uh, Linux. Well, it doesn't take much brain power to figure it out. Download the image from the Linux version you want, Linux Mint is what I use, download that and um, reformat your hard drive and install that onto your computer. Once you set it up, it's easy to set up, it's easy to maintain. Anytime you need to update your system, you do it on the fly. You just update it and you're done with it. If you install Windows for the first time or update Windows, it's going to take forever in a day and it may crash on you with a blue screen of death and you don't want that. What you want is an operating system that when you turn it on, it boots up just like that and you're good to go after 30 seconds of boot time. On a Windows, it may take a minute, a minute and a half, or even longer depending on how much RAM you got in your system and how fast your CPU is. You can take a relatively old computer, wipe Windows off of it and install Linux Mint on it and your computer is going to be lightning fast because Linux Mint is not full of bloatware, full of unnecessary programs that just hog all your system resources, your memory, and your CPU. Uh, Linux is an awesome system to learn, and Linux Mint is really awesome to use. With that said, there is a little bit of a learning curve to it, but it's not that big of a deal. Once you get used to running Linux, 
you'll say, I'll never go back to Windows again. Windows is like driving. Most of you people aren't, aren't my age, 59, but most of you people haven't driven cars from like the 70s and the 60s and the 80s. Those cars were what I called a lead sled. They were like two-ton, heavy-duty cars that sucked and guzzled gas, and they broke down often. Today's cars are like light, and they're fast, and they don't break down as often. Um, driving an older model car is just, you know, it's fun to drive a classic, but if you're going to drive around an old four-door sedan, it's just going to hog up gas. It's going to leak oil. It's going to give you problems. And that's what Windows is in an analogy towards Linux. Linux is very fast. It's free, absolutely free. And all the software that, that you use on Windows, you can migrate it over to Linux if you use a virtual machine called Wine, W-I-N-E. If you want to stop the hacking, take out your Bluetooth module, take out your Wi-Fi card, install Linux Mint, but you can still do it without Linux Mint. Write this down. Get a Mac changer. You might have, you'll have to pay for it for Windows unless you know how to manually change your Mac address. And what your Mac ad address does is when you try to connect to the internet, your Mac address is like your license plate on your car and whoever has been hacking you knows your license plate. When you change your uh, Mac address, it's like changing your license plate. They'll, they can still find you, but they got to dig for you. So change your Mac address, have a VPN, they're only about 10 bucks a month. And once you do that, and especially once you switch to Linux, your hacking problems are gonna be over. For the most part, 95% of them are gonna be over. There will be times they'll try to frustrate you when you get on the internet. And what they'll do is try to deny you service online. And the way you bypass that is, you watch a video or you download some code that tells you how to, to go to DOS in Windows or go to Linux through a terminal and enter in these little command lines and hit enter and it's going to flush your DNS, DNS cache. Once you flush your cache, you go back online and that will stop all that. And if it happens again, just keep flushing your cache or reboot your system. I can tell you since I've done this, this has helped immensely. Really, really great. If you got any questions about this, drop a comment in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer it. As you can see by the link, uh, somewhere in the video down here or up here, I got my PayPal thing going again. I don't want to sit here and whine and beg for cash, but you know, I got last month's things taken care of and now this month's things are coming up. And I just spent four hours today passing out about a hundred of these in our neighborhood, several neighborhoods. I got a lot of good bites, but everybody wants to wait until the pollen has finished falling or blowing around before they want any, their homes pressure washed or their mobile homes clean. I've had one customer and she was delighted about it. But today, not only that, I couldn't find anybody at home. It's been a beautiful day here in Tyler, Texas, the gang stalking capital of Texas and people were simply not at home today and as i got out on the main roads the main roads are just jam-packed with traffic and the thing is people are going out to eat COVID's not that bad anymore and uh people just they're, they're tired of being at home and it's really like the real first day of spring and so people are outside enjoying it after i upload this video i'm about to go back out and go look for some more work Hopefully I can find some work, get some cash in my pocket and take care of some of these uh, real quick bills I gotta pay. But just in case I can't, I still need gas money and my truck is a gas hog. I get about 180 miles to 20 gallons in my tank. I get about 12 miles to the gallon and that's really not good. Um, it sucks, but it is what it is and I'm stuck with it. And I didn't lose my job as a delivery driver, but when gas prices went sky high, I couldn't drive anymore because uh, when gas prices was low, it was about 50 bucks to fill up and now it's about 80 and I can't afford that. I just cannot continue to drive and pay that, that type of money to gas my vehicle up and drive for 10 to 14 hours a day and make $100 
and put 200 miles on my truck. I just can't do it. Uh, last week, I went out and submitted some applications. I got some solid leads on interviews for uh, this week, but we'll see how that goes. But in the meantime, I'm going to upload this video. I'm asking for donations. If you can donate, great. If you can't, please, if you're a godly man or woman, please pray for this channel. Please, please pray that the Lord will open up some uh, doors to prosperity for me. I'm not asking to be rich. I'm just asking for my basic needs to be met. I'm not Joel Osteen or Joyce Myers or anybody else begging for your cash and telling you Jesus is going to hook you up if you hook me up because I don't believe in that nonsense. That's a bunch of nonsense. But if you can do it, great. Five, ten bucks, whatever you can afford, it would be great. I just need really right now gas money and to keep my phone on in case I do get evicted. Uh, that way I can continue to receive calls because I'm putting in applications to find a regular job while I still try to get this pressure washing business up off the ground. I totally uh, oversimplified this business. I totally underestimated how much groundwork I have to put in. But until these contracts start coming through, you know, I got to eat and I got to pay bills and uh, anything would be appreciated. Uh, some resources for you. Number one, go check out our uh, artistic ministry. That is my sister in Christ, uh, Zipporah, her channel. She's got that channel and peculiar people. She's got interesting videos on both channel channels. Check out DB Gang Stalking Simulation. DB, I watch him every day. He's kind of like my uh, main channel. I, I just like keeping up with him because he posts all the time in really good information. Uh, Wayne Morris down under in either New Zealand or Australia. I can't remember which one. Sorry about that, Wayne. Uh, he's got a great channel and he's always uploading great content and waterfall seeds is another one nappy head roots look out for Charlie and There's a couple that I just can't think of at the moment, but if you got any questions Comments suggestions drop them in the comment below and if you could donate great if you can't I understand Keep those uh, prayers coming my way and thank you very much for watching Remember take out your Wi-Fi card take out your Bluetooth module You'll only be able to connect with the Ethernet, but I tell you what, who needs Wi-Fi and who needs Ethernet? I mean, who needs Wi-Fi and a Bluetooth module when that's going to cause you nothing but problems? And if you want to take it a step further and eliminate even more headaches, get rid of Windows, wipe down your hard drive, and install Linux Mint. If you got any questions about any of this, drop it in the comment section below, and I'll leave links to all the websites I talked about, YouTube channels, and how to download Linux Mint, and uh, things of that nature. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.